Hey guys, how you doing? Henry Mowers and Blowers again. Today is uh, Tuesday, and um, we're supposed to get some snow. Uh, here in Long Island, we're not going to get any snow. We're going to get like flurries and slush and stuff like that. It's not cold enough, you know. Like uh, right now, it's about 9 in the morning, and it's 55 degrees. Uh, they say around noon, around 40, degree, uh, 40 degrees, it's going to, you know, how about that, huh? Um, the warmest time of the day is usually about noon or 1 o'clock. But it's actually warm now, 55, getting colder at uh, noon. So um, upstate, Buffalo, Binghamton, that kind of area, they might get a foot, you know. So Long Island's going to miss it. Too bad because I would like to try the Lucas Oil-themed GT6000 with the snowplow. As you know, I restored that tractor last year around the winter time. But by the time I was finished with the snowplow thing, it stopped snowing. And snow at all. I never got to try it, you know. Um, so today, as you know, I, I put this up for um, on Let Go Facebook Marketplace and um, Craigslist for three twenty-five, and I was probably gonna let it go for like two fifty or something like that. But uh, I thought about it. I kind of like it. Maybe I'll keep it. Now yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, a lot of low ballers, you know, oh, I'll give you 200 for it. I'm like, get the hell out of here, man. Anyway, I started taking uh, some of the stuff apart, you know, the uh, battery box, the wiring harness, the springs, you know, uh, steering wheel, starting to get the column out, cable. And uh, I also did this. Let me go to the backyard. As you also know, I got a, I got a hood from uh, Nick from Medford. And I got my pull-on hood from uh, Larry and Bob. So uh, it's starting to rain now. On this LT1000 that doesn't have a deck because it's missing all the hangers on the bottom, I think I might one day put them back on, but just not this year, you know. I use it just to pull that aerator and my dump trailer and stuff. It has a 19.5 opposed twin. And it had the old hood on there. Well, no, it, it had another hood on here. I just put the another one on here. This is all good to go. So now it actually looks like a Poulon. It had a Craftsman hood on it with the Poulon nose. Well, I got the hood from Larry and Bob, right? And I just put the nose on there. So now it looks like a complete Poulon. You know what I mean? So that looks pretty good. Thanks, Bob and Larry. I have the old style um, hood on this. It was like this one, square one, right? So that was on here. So I put it on. I got this one from uh, Nick from Medford. I actually have a couple of um, hoods. Is my hiding spot back here. Don't, don't tell anybody. So this Craftsman hood is actually really good shape. You know, nice paint, you know, almost new. And this is the square one that I have. And this was the uh, other one I took off that um, it had the Poulon nose on it. So I put the Poulon nose under the Poulon hood and this one's okay, but not great. You know, this one's really good. So look, all hoods are not created equal. I thought, people think that LT1000 and Poulon hoods and weed eaters, they all are interchangeable. I found out yesterday that's not true. <laughs> the Poulon nose doesn't fit on the Craftsman ones, at least not all of them. How you can tell is the front part. See how that's kind of concave, you know, with a curve? It didn't fit on the uh, Poulon nose because the Poulon nose was straight. Same goes with this one, see? It's curved. Like that really uh, nice one, the, the good one back there. I tried to put it on this one and it didn't fit this nose. Because if you look at the front, it's straight, not concave. Look at the Poulon nose, it's concave. You look at this one, straight. 
So, um, the good one I just showed you would not fit on this LT-1000 because this is straight, not concave. So I found that out the hard way because I've already, already removed it and I was getting ready to put it on. I'm like, wait a minute. This damn thing doesn't fit. Crazy, right? I thought they all fit too. Um, anyway, so I'm going to get to disassembling that LT-1000 for parts and getting rid of the carcass. The horde over here is looking a little better, not much, but I had mowers here. <laughs> so I sold my two Hondas, my two snappers. I fixed that uh, beige looking thing. These are good mowers right here, these three. These are recent ones. So my next project is to uh, put that 21 horsepower engine that I rebuilt like two times and took it apart like three times, you know. Um, I gave John, uh, Bob and Larry the top engine cover because they needed it. They're my friends, so um, I let them have it. Um, and I had this one. This one has the air filter where the carburetor goes into a U into that filter. There's another kind where it's the rectangle filter with just a half a U that goes up, you know. This one doesn't really fit on that because when you turn the flywheel, it scrapes stuff. Um, I have another cover off of another engine in the back over there from a trade. I'll probably put that on there. So I uh, put new piston and rings into this in hopes that this will cure the smoking problem that this has always had. The reason why I have it is because it smokes. Nick from Medford gave it to me because it smokes. I changed a valve seal in there thinking that was the issue. That's not the issue because when I had it on another tractor, it still smoked a lot, you know. So uh, people said, ah, it's the, it's the rings, Henry, you know. Um, oil's getting through the rings and um, it's smoking. Well, if you noticed that when I took it apart, you could actually move the piston in there. So it's really weird. But uh, I, I got the exact piston for this model, 331877, I think, right? That's the model. And uh, I got the right piston with new rings on there. And when I put it in, it still kind of moved. So I don't, I don't get it. You know, is it supposed to move? Anyway, so I'm going to put that Damn it. on this. This will be my test subject for that engine should fit fine you know uh, this one actually had a choke cable but uh, it broke I mean it it was broken when Nick got it I got this from Nick also and um, it's okay because that doesn't need a choke you know um, he had to cut the drive belt for this to get it off and the drive belt was Dunsky anyway so I'll have to get a drive belt I'll have to yank that off and measure and see if I have that same size, you know. But, um, you know, this tractor's rough, right? But as you guys saw from the last video of my trade with Nick from Medford, right? Uh, by the way, he's the president of Crackers with Tractors. He was driving this forward and backwards, you know. So tranny's good. Uh, wheels need some attention. I could sure use some tubes. Uh, deck seems fine, and, and that's rare too because uh, you don't find um, decent MTD decks. They're all rusted out, so it's hard to find a replacement. At least you don't find them on the uh, interwebs, you know. So I can't wait to get uh, to try this um, GT6000 with the snowplow. It's a Lucas oil themed. I owe it to Lucas Oil for providing me with uh, excellent products for my videos. Uh, thanks uh, to Lucas Oil Products again for their support. I want to thank uh, all you guys too for um, sending me stuff and supporting the channel. I've sold out of my bumper stickers, believe it or not. Uh, you know, some of the people that buy my bumper stickers, I don't recognize the name, you know, so they've been like longtime subscribers, but they don't comment or anything, you know. Anyway, so I'm going to set this up and I'm going to um, take this thing apart just for parts and then dump the carcass in the snow.
box of uh, LT-1000 parts, lots of parts. Uh, this Cub Cadet Super Garden Tractor Hydro Transmission that works, I've had it up for like two months, not even a bite. So I'm throwing it to the curb. Took the fan off and stuff like that, and uh, I'm just going to throw it away. Got some tires there. Got an LT-1000 front end, which is cool. And by the way, the... Uh, LT-1000 Hydro Trans, it actually works. It just needed uh, to be lubed up a little and loosened up, but it actually works. So I'll sell it here locally. So I've got the LT-1000 deck. I thought about keeping it, but I already have one. Uh, I'm sorry, the uh, fender. It's rusted out anyway. Not rusted out, but it's not in good shape. It's a Hydro Trans and the uh, chassis. I'm going to take a picture of this and uh, have the scrappers come and pick it up. You know what I mean? Anyway, that was it for today, man. Uh, working on some tractors and uh, parting out one. It's a lot of work just to part out stuff, you know? I took that thing completely apart. It wasn't too bad. Uh, as long as you have the right tools, get it all done. Anyway, that's it for today. We'll see you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers. Hey, Bob and Larry came to visit again. They brought me some uh, weed whackers. I like weed whackers. A home light and a craftsman. That's a craftsman. Yeah. He just started the home light and work. Really? Yeah. I actually uh, had a echo. I just sold some nut, and look what he look what he brought me. Ho oh, ho ho! Look at that, baby. I'm finally going to gain some weight and be uh, Larry's weight. Hey! Some of them are cashews, some of them are peanuts. Oh my god, cashews. Holy mm. shit! <laughs> he only gave me 20 minutes out of lunch to do it. You got a 20 minute lunch break today. Yeah, I had to eat my lunch to make that at the same time. You guys are a bunch of nuts. Thanks for the uh, clusters, bro. No problem. Um, Walter from Sewer Brothers, the dudes that did my uh, driveway and my walkway, he comes over today and he goes, Henry, Henry, please, you got to help me. I says, what the hell is that? He goes, that's a tamperer. I said, oh, yeah, a tamperer. I've never worked on a tamperer before. He goes, oh, come on, you could, you could fix it for me. I says, well, what's wrong with it? He says one of his guys put mix in it. It's a four-stroke. So, uh, I don't know. Uh, it starts and it runs for like ten seconds or five seconds and then it stalls. So I'm thinking I'll just drain the gas and flush out the lines and clean the carburetor. Put some fresh gas in there. Ought to be good, right? <laughs> well, this is for an upcoming video. Mowers and blowers working on a tamperer. See you guys later. Right, Boba? Hey guys, support my channel. Buy a sticker. Also, follow me on Instagram at Mowers Blowers. Check out my website, MowersBlowers.com. See you guys on the next part. Have a great day. Hey guys, Boba and I want to thank you for all the support of Mowers and Blowers. If you'd like, Make a short video clip like these, and I'll put it as an outro in my future videos. See you guys next time on Mowers and Blowers!